Hey guys, what's up? So today it is day one of two days in a row of darts for me. Um, we're reaching the end of our league season here um, and tonight is the doubles competition. So our normal league format has six singles and then three doubles. Um, but you can pair with whoever you like as long as they're a league player. Um, I'm playing with Nick who plays in my Friday team and my Super League team. And we are defending champions of this trophy. It's a bit of a strange one because we haven't had the chance to defend it since 2019. So um, there'll be a lot of good teams here tonight, mostly made up of our Super League players, the ones that we're really worried about. But it's one of those funny competitions where it's a blind draw. So we might get a really good team in the first round or we might avoid everyone all the way through. So let's see how we get on. Hello, what is the secret? So I arrived at the event with plenty of time to sign in. There are a total of 32 teams that entered, which was a really nice turnout. So a total of 64 players that were there. And we got the defence of the trophy underway with a 2-0 win against Chris, who is the league's treasurer, and Corey, a young player who is just starting to play darts. In the game, I did the majority of the scoring and Nick took out both doubles to seal a comfortable 2-0 victory. In the second game, we drew a slightly stronger pair, however, we still cruised through that one exactly the same. I scored quite well, and Nick hit both doubles, so we won four legs and two games, and I hadn't hit a double yet. In the quarterfinal, we drew Colin and John. Colin and John had previously won the trophy a few years ago. Both players play in our Super League team, and Colin has 100 county performances to his name. We knew this would be tough and we took this one all the way. We didn't manage to get any footage of it, but we took it to a last leg decider where I checked out 56 to seal the victory. Heading into the semi-final now, and we played Darren and Steve. Steve has just made his county debut. Steve's there in the blue shirt throwing, and Darren is our Super League captain. This was the pair that we played in the final in 2019, and we just edged them out in that game 2-1, with both of us having match darts. So we're here at the end of the first leg with Nick requiring 85 to go 1-0 up, hitting the single 15, the single 20 and just missing the ball, just falling into the single 5 to leave 45 and Steve steps up to take out 124 to go 1-0 up for his team. Hits the treble 20, the single 14 and again strays into the small 5 to leave 45. Leaving me 45 to take the leg, I know that Nick likes tops, so all night I've been trying to leave that, so I went single 5 for double top. Just straight inside. And then ping the double 10, 1 nil. In the second and potentially final leg here, Steve's team need 114 while we're back on 180. Steve hits a 98 to set up 16 for Darren and I'm just trying to leave something handy here for Nick. After straying slightly there, I've only scored 90, so leaving 90 for Nick when he returns, if he should get a shot. Darren misses all three on the wire for double eight, and we need 90 to go to the final. Single 20, treble 20, double five. We did a win, you two. <laughs> so I've recorded a few little bits, but we are now in the final, me and Nick. So uh, we're waiting to see who wins the semi final, and I'm going to try and set the cameras up to record this one. So wish us luck. In the semi-final we were hoping Steve, throwing here for 36 for the match, would win along with his partner Dom, good friends of ours and Super League players. But unfortunately Steve couldn't check out here and it was up to Wayne to take him and Roger through to the final against us. So here we were in the final once more to defend our title. We were playing Roger and Wayne and as we had done all night, 
Nick was going up to throw for ball first for our team. And in this first leg here, Nick needed 95, 25, treble 20 and double five, which I was relieved to see go in because I didn't fancy coming back for that one, but we're one nil up. Getting down to the business end now, we need 65 for the 2 0 win in the match. Nick hits the 25 first dart. Misses high with the second dart at double 20 and comes just inside with the third. This left Roger with a shot at 116 to go one all. Roger pins the treble 20 with the first dart, leaving 56. But strays slightly with the second into the double 16, leaving 24. The shot is still on here. And just misses outside. And that leaves me with three clear darts at double 10 to win the trophy. And our winner is the seatman, Nick Hayden and Bryn Jones. Absolutely fantastic, guys. Very happy to get the win there. Now enjoy some drunken ramblings from me after the event. It's midnight. So um, I've just come out of the pub. And part of darts is the drinking. <laughs> that sounded really, really, really drunk. So let's start that again. So after all of that, and I've just come out of the pub. And let's be realistic here. Part of darts is the drinking. And I've had one or two. But it was really, really nice to get another win under my belt. And in all sincerity, um, the reality of it is that since pre-COVID, that's the first trophy I've won. Um, I started picking a couple up just before lockdown and before I started the channel. Um, there's a couple of vlogs out there where I've won some friendly competitions. There's a bit of cash up for grabs, but um, this is the first one that I've won where it's a proper trophy, proper league. My name's on the shield and that's going to be there for a while. So it's really nice to get over the line with that one with uh, my buddy Nick. So an inebriated analysis there of our win. And let's look forward to 2023 where Nick and I will look to defend our championship once again. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you next time on the Darts Class.